Hi Taurus. This is a peek at your partner for the week of December the 19th through December the 25th, 2021. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Taurus for December the 19th through December the 25th, 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Taurus for December the 19th through December the 25th, 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Taurus for December the 19th. Through December the 25th, 2021. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Taurus. Taurus, this is a peek at your partner. So, Taurus, your partner has death. Your partner has the five of wands your partner has the ace of wands your partner has the five of swords and your partner has the king of wands so taurus your partner has death could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So Taurus, listen, could be dealing with a Scorpio, but listen, your partner could tell me that things are ending. You know, things may be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Taurus's partner. Clarify death. For Taurus's partner, clarify death. For Taurus's partner, it is clarified with the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being defensive. They're on the defense, but this can also speak to them being put in a position where they're having to defend themselves against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be your partner shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So your partner could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and they're giving their defense or excuse here. So Taurus, listen, either your partner is off and shunning and setting boundaries here, saying, you know what, uh-uh, I'm, I'm ending this, okay? Your partner could be setting boundaries on transforming things here as well. However, Taurus, your partner could tell me that, you know, they're being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and they're coming in trying to explain or give their explanation explanation or excuse because they're wanting to start new after ending or transform or change something here okay so it could be vice versa taurus your partner has the five of wands aries leo or sag this is conflict this is fussing fighting disagreements arguments jealousy competition drama but this can also speak to your partner being conflicted within about something so, Taurus, listen, yes, your partner could be conflicted within about something or there's some type of conflict, disagreement, or argument taking place here. Clarify the five of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the five of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the five of wands for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the two of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is your partner being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? 
I don't know. So Taurus, so listen, your partner very well could be conflicted within at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. Or your partner's saying that there has been some type of conflict, disagreement, or argument, and they're trying to figure out where to go from here. Taurus, your partner has the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that, hey, they have the spark of a new idea. Your partner could tell me that they may be initiating something here. Your partner could tell me that this is passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument. Or someone started a passionate new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Empress. This is you, Taurus, or Libra, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Now, Taurus, this is you. Clarify the Empress for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Empress for Taurus's partner. What does Taurus's partner think of Taurus? What does Taurus's partner think of Taurus? Clarify the Empress for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Taurus could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, your partner could think that you're taking on the energy of this king of cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus's partner. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus's partner. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be your partner passing their own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Taurus, listen, your partner could be passing their own final verdict and judgment here. Mm -hmm. Your partner could tell me that, hey, someone is asking for forgiveness and a second chance or we're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment. For Taurus's partner, clarified judgment. For Taurus's partner, clarified judgment. For Taurus's partner, it is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from their past. Flashback from the past. Full fledged in the flesh. Someone from their past is back. Now, they can be reminiscing on someone from their past, remembering someone from their past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Taurus, first of all, your partner could tell me that someone from your past or something from the past was brought back up here. Okay? And maybe you started a passion in the beginning. This calls an ending here, Taurus. However, your partner may also feel like Someone is wanting forgiveness and a second chance, wanting to reunite here. Remember when I said that, yes, your partner could be standoff and shunning and setting boundaries and wanting to end it, but your partner could also be setting boundaries and stipulations for us starting new after an ending, okay? Because we have two cards of someone wanting to reconcile here, okay? Taurus, your partner has the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, 
having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys had this tit for tat tug of war, toe to toe going on, some type of mind games and manipulation, or your partner is saying that they're suited for battle here. Clarify the five of swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the five of swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the five of swords for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the nine of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to your partner feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. You know, very well could be feeling smug because when we're dealing with the Five of Swords, this is spiteful, vengeful energy here, Taurus. They feel some type of way trying to end things here. Mm -hmm. Some type of conflict going on. Hmm. However, Taurus, beware, because we very well could be reuniting here. We could be starting over here. But it's almost like your partner has you with your back up against the wall. So this can be some type of mind games and manipulation to get their wish. Remember when I said that someone is setting some type of boundaries or, you know, setting some type of um, stipulations here? I hope this person is not trying to make you jump so extremely high just to get them back, just to deal with them. I just would be aware of that, okay, Taurus? Because it seems like it, okay? Mind games, seriously. Taurus, your partner has the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or your partner is wanting to take action. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel. But this is the fast, rapid-moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face-to-face -face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid-moving energy of being intimate. Taurus, I just feel like it's some type of manipulation going on. It's like this person is initiating some type of heated discussion or argument here. You know, should I, should not go in with this argument here? Absolutely putting you, putting boundaries on you and stipulations on you. And in order for you to reunite with them and get them back, you got to jump so high, Taurus. I don't like this. Taurus, this is a peek at your partner for the week of December the 19th through December the 25th, 2021. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.